partner. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown, what you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage, I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Karma de Dell. It's just off the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> what is up, you two? Third favorite white boy, day so three. Hope y'all guys are doing well out there. You know, Hosea brings up a good point here. Misdirection's a hell of a tool. Let your opponent think that you're dumb. That's when you attack. I believe that's quoted in the Sun Tzu, if my memory serves me right. And uh, he seemed like he was a pretty, pretty smart guy, you know. If you got a book that's sold for hundreds of years and it's still selling, you might have had some good points to think about. But, uh, go ahead and bring up something about misdirection, you know, finally comment on this, uh, Pete Harley, or Pete whatever on Saturday Night Live making the comment about the, uh, former Navy SEAL who lost an eye fighting for his freedom. Comedy is a very subjective type of thing. Um, it, you have to, sometimes you gotta be risque. I mean, case in point, look at my BS career on YouTube, you know. Well, people like Keemstar were getting destroyed by, you know, using edgy shit. Hell, I was, you know, people were finding humor in it. It's funny. You gotta have humor. Now, this right here will be a two-part. Now, I respect his decision to make a joke. Even, you know, a crass one, such as, you know, making fun of a guy who lost his eye, you know, in combat. But, um, I'll also not agree with Saturday Night Live thinking that was the best fucking move that they could have done. Their ratings are already in the toilet for crying out loud, you know. I mean, you got a gray-haired guy who got dumped by Ariana Grande trying to make jokes about a guy who was a former Navy SEAL. Um, not quite the approach I would have gone with it, you know. Like, I would have kept it, you know, with the, you know, the assassin from a porn thing, you know? That right there would have been tolerable. It would have been somewhat funny. But, um, you know, just going on the or whatever bit, not, not very respectful to intentionally um, mock veterans. It's not a good strategy. It's really not. I mean, hell, look at Jane Fonda back, back in the... <laughs> During the Vietnam era, she screwed over a few soldiers stuck in a POW camp because of her free peace tour. Look how great her fucking career has been. It blows my mind she got a job after that. Um, but that right there is a personal issue for me. Like, I'll do my jokes, my humor, and all that, but uh, people with military status and so forth, they deserve something special. Because keep in mind, that's not something that you have to do. The draft hasn't been instated since the uh, Korean policing incident and the Vietnam War during that era. And absolutely all those people in the military deserve the utmost respect and be shown as such. But I don't know. 
maybe I'm just old school. But anyway, just a reminder, uh, comedian. Ariana Grande dumped your sorry ass. How's that for a joke? Peace. your father home, son? Sure is. Get him down here. Please, get him down here. And you know what? Oh, here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with you and you here a bit. You smell a sudden partner? I might call again. How much will it cost? I'm offering you virility and you're asking me about money, sir. I ain't made of money, mister. Okay, let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Idiot.
few bits and pieces. Nothing too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Yeah, exactly. How long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure.